This is one of the courtrooms in the Central Family Court in Hoban. Not every family court across the country will look exactly like this, but this guide should give you a good sense of who sits where and what happens. It should help you if you're covering a case in the family court for the first time. In many ways, the family court looks like any other court, but you will notice when it's in session that it's a lot less formal. There are no wigs or gowns, for example, but the judge still sits here at the front of the court to listen to the case. In front of the judge sits the clerk to the court. His role is similar to the role of the clerk in other courts. It's to swear in the witnesses, to make sure that the case runs smoothly, and to write up the judgment at the end. The other people in court will vary according to the type of case this is. So let's assume it's a care case involving children. In the front row, you'll see the lawyers. On this side, there'll be the lawyers for the local authority who are applying to remove the child from its parents. A bit further along, there will be the lawyer for CAFCAS, which represents the interests of the child. And on this side will be the lawyers for the child's parents. In the second row will be sitting the social workers here. Next to them, the CAFCAS guardian, who's been appointed by the court to represent the interests of the children. And then over here is where the parents of the child will be sitting. And there may be other people in the court who have a part to play in the case. Grandparents, for example, who might be applying to have the child live with them. The rest of the court can get quite crowded. This is the witness box where people give their evidence in these cases. And a lot of this evidence comes from professionals, doctors, social workers, and other experts. And their opinion can influence whether a child remains with its family or is taken into care. These expert reports can include assessment of the parent's psychological state, their parenting skills, their drug or alcohol use. And the experts' written reports can be important for a case, but journalists do not have access to them, so you have to be careful what you actually report. The children themselves never appear in the courtroom. If they want to contribute to the case, they can ask to speak privately to the judge. This will be done outside the courtroom with a CAFCAS guardian and lawyer present. There isn't usually a press gallery in the family court, though journalists have been allowed in to observe since 2009. When I watch a case, I generally sit quietly at the back of the courtroom, but first I make sure everybody knows who I am and what I'm doing there. These are incredibly sensitive cases and people can get very nervous about journalists being present. And before you cover a family case, it's important that you know exactly what you're allowed to report. <laughs>